Hello! In this video, we are going to be making that tomahawk you saw at the beginning of this video out of this big old chain link. Now, I've actually never done a tomahawk like this design before. I'm going to do it the old original way. Instead of filing out uh, where the handle goes in, the eye, and the socket, I'm actually going to forge it all out by hand. This is something that I've never done before. You guys have seen me make a few tomahawks in the past, like I made a railroad spike tomahawk, which I filed out the eye. Or I did the full tank tomahawk in my tactical tomahawk build. But this is something I definitely want to try. Now I have to apologize for a few of the clips here. You see that uh, the camera is really close to that chain link. Well, I'm used to making knives and smaller objects like blacksmithing projects. So using something this big, this big old chain link, is just out of my realm. So I'm not used to the farther away cuts. We're going to start by squaring this up. And drawing it out just a little bit. I want to save as much material as I can before we start drifting this. Now to start my drift I'm just going to use one of my rebar cutoff tools, one of my hot cut chisels. I'm only going to do a few smacks at the very beginning because I want to make sure that uh, where I'm drifting is nice and straight. You don't want it to wander because then you'll have one side that's thicker than the other which can cause a weakness in that one side. I'll drift it all the way with this cutoff hardy, or cutoff tool. And then I'll use this axe drift that I made from an old spike. This took several heats. It took me almost two hours to forge this. If I was to do it again, it would probably only take me about an hour. Because when you do something for the first time, it always takes longer because you're figuring out everything. I don't have the proper tongs for forging a tomahawk, so I'm just actually just going to put the drift into the eye and then use a cross beam to draw out the face of this tomahawk. Now I have this material at the back of my tomahawk, and I was thinking, what should I do with it? I could forge it out into a spike and make kind of like a pickaroon on the back, or I can forge it out, and I'm going to actually turn this into a small hook so you can hang it from a belt loop. Or if you have a hook just laying around, you know, you can hang it off the wall, and it just stays there, and you don't have to worry about, you know, setting it somewhere and can't find it. I've never seen one done this way, so hey, might as well try something new. I'm going to finish forging out the bevel or the face of this tomahawk before we go for a quench. We're just going to quench it in water. This is probably a lower carbon steel. I did spark test it. It does have some nice sparks in it though, so it will harden to some degree. Harden to about 58 to 60 HRC. I then tempered it around 400 degrees for two hours, leaving it with an HRC around 53 to 55. I'm just going to rough grind out the bevels. I'm going to keep this pretty much a forge finish just because I like the design. Then we'll wire wheel it, get it all nice and cleaned up. We'll wax it to keep it from rusting. I think this tomahawk head looks really nice. This is my first time ever drifting a tomahawk before. And it's not 100% straight side to side, but you know what? For my first attempt, I'm pretty proud of it. I can't wait to put a handle on this thing. Our handles is going to be a chunk of 2x6. I'm going to cut it out real quick and put it on the grinder and get it all shaped up. Shaping wood on the 2x72 has got to be the most fun. When you just throw it on here, it just immediately eats away all the material. You can literally do this in like 15 minutes. Take a, just a raw piece of board and make a handle. It's super neat. I'm going to heat up the head. Yes, I will have to re-temper it and re-quench it, but I wanted a nice fit up, so I'm actually gonna burn the head right onto the handle. After re-tempering and reheat treating, I got the handle on. It looks very nice, fits up well. 
I'm going to put a torch finish on the handle and then seal it. This tomahawk looks amazing. I hope you guys really enjoyed this build. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, and you all have a great one.